Hello, it's Perry Peacock with Wilderness Innovation. Uh, I'm up the canyon to the uh, debris hut that I've been working on. Uh, I keep adding more space to it here. I don't know why, just for fun, I guess. But uh, I wanted to show something out of the out of the uh, off-road survival kit, and it comes in our regular survival kit as well. And uh, that's the uh, Swiss Army knife. And uh, <clears throat> I know that, uh, you know, typically, you know, if you're out, I, you probably would want to carry a, a fixed blade knife, uh, four, five, six inches of blade length. Uh, but this is, this, uh, <clears throat> in the Hunter Camper series of knives from Swiss Army, a uh, very good quality knife. Um, and we'll cover a few things as we go along here, but you got your long and long and short blades and uh, and then the thing I want to talk about right now is the saw <clears throat> and that saw is about I don't know three or three and a half inches long and you know it's not real long but it is effective uh, it takes you a little bit more time but you can do some things um, and I've just just for kicks been cutting off some little chunks here of of maple there's a lot of mountain maple up in this area so I've been cutting off a few chunks of that, so I just wanted to show you just a quickie of cutting a little bit of some maple here. Um, and uh, like I say, it it takes a little a little doing, a little patience, but it can be done. And here again, you're going to do it, uh, you know, when it's necessary. A lot of times if you just want short pieces of wood you're probably gonna you know snap them off or whatever something like that use whatever you've got but sometimes you need to make a cut uh, this saw blades very nice for uh, if you need to do any notching or anything like that it's a lot easier to use the, the saw blade in that regard Now this maple's, you know, pretty, pretty hard wood. This is some. We had a big ice storm this last spring here, and this stuff, most of the stuff around here fell in the spring. So there you go. It's about a inch and a quarter piece of of maple here. I sliced off. You know, it wasn't hard to do or anything. Did very well. The teeth are extremely sharp and uh, got the di the razor offset uh, cut on it. The back spine of the blade is thinner than the teeth so you don't get much binding because the teeth are a little wider than the, than the back is. So I mean it works you know works pretty well for what it is and you know I really like it as a as a feature. I've used it a lot of times notching various things and stuff like that. So now I'm gonna we're gonna do some other stuff here. <clears throat> 